Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Subsistence with Gasbeard at our base on the southern edge of the lake. As you can see we've got our walls done, we've got a roof piece up, dawn is breaking, we need to get out, get some loot, and ooh, there's a crate down there and I don't see a wolf, oh there's a wolf and a bear next to it, ah, um, let's just keep getting a little warm here um we need to repair our bow what have we got in our backpack uh, we don't have any sticks or any fiber in our backpack never mind we've got a little bit of munchies our food and health's okay need a little top up a little bit later let's go start looting i've forgotten how to open the door f there we go <laughs> Close the door. Keep the animals out. Yeah, that bear's looking at us and that wolf's heading this way. So we can't get down to that crate. Um, any ore down there? No. Looks like that bear's drifting up in this direction generally. So let's, let's go do a loop around. We may have to come back and kill that bear a little bit later in the day. Let's uh, get that bit of fibre and then get some timber before we get started on everything. Yeah, those... Let's see if we can get this tree before they uh, turn around. A chicken down there. Oh, more fibre. Have that. Right, so what's been happening in subsistence land? Um, not a lot. To be honest, I've not had a chance to play since I made last week's videos. Um, it's just too many games on the go at the same time. And, um, trying to get all the videos made for them and I've just noticed we we maybe should have made another pickaxe let's just check have we got one? Oh, we've got a spare one in inventory okay well that one that we've got is just about worn out so if I swap those over then the worn out one we can put in the chest and preserve it to use for mass conversion once we get a mass converter built because you can't repair the pickaxes or at least I've not found a way to do it um, I'm getting myself a little bit confused and turned around here in terms of which trees have I harvested already and which have I not believe I've had this one. Yes I have. Any loot down there? There usually is early in the morning. Either a crate or a couple of harvestable bushes. It's um, kind of unusual that there's so little harvestables here right now. Maybe it's because we're into August and we really... Oh, there's a crate. We really need to get the roof onto the house. And once we've got the roof on the house, then we can put the BCU down. And the main reason I'm... Oh, there's another crate over there. The main reason I'm delaying the BCU, because I know a few of you have mentioned it in the comments on the previous videos. But the reason I'm delaying the BCU is... I want to leave it as late as possible towards winter um, and the reason for that is if I can wait until immediately before winter when the um, when the hunters spawn in they're going to arrive in winter and hopefully that will slow them down 
building their their place and getting themselves established. Oh, hello. Um, iron, is it? Or is it... Crouch? There we are. No, I think that's um, potassium or whatever it is. Yeah, it is potassium. It's a shame. It would have been nice if that had been iron. Right, let's go get our grub tree before we forget it. And there's some copper on the top of there. Ooh. Might have to get that first. Quick look round. Well, guys, if you haven't got your BCU down, you can't build your refiner. So why are you collecting ores all the time? Well, it's a case of stockpiling. Because come the winter, we're going to be spending a lot of time indoors. And we're going to need things to do. And micromanaging ore production is one of those things that we can do. And... We want to get a lot of grubs between now and November because we're going to need to get a lot of fishing going. Oh, metal. Thank you. There's a chicken. I've said before, I don't like this new mouse. I, c I can't get the pixel perfect aiming with it. It's, I don't know what it is, just... I can't, can't get it to behave. Oh, there's carrots or something, is it? Yeah, carrots. Don't know whether we got seed or uh, root from that one. Now, what we want to do is get as many planks as possible. Uh, sorry, as many logs as possible. Get some planks made and get some crates to get nails. We want to get those roofs on as fast as we can now. I'm planning on doing with this base is I'm going to try and put a bit of a flat roof to it or partial flat roof to it um, and we'll get our um, planters and stuff up there right great we've got a wolf up there we've got a chicken down here if we can get the chicken first shot and we should be able to run in and grab it oh I missed it You stay up there, Mr. Wolf. Oh, he's coming down. Where did the chicken go? It crossed the road, Gaz. Oh, har, har, dad joke. Or I could have said, where did the chicken go? It chickened out. Har, har. Uh, yeah. Christmas is coming. Starting to remember all the Christmas cracker jokes, you see. That's what it is. They're not really dad jokes, they're Christmas cracker jokes. Where did that chicken go? It's a damn good question. It has flown the coop. It has gone. There's another wolf up there in the river. Um... I really want to get some more wood cut. I'm not sure we can. If that wolf stays over there, and this one over here doesn't come any closer, we might be able to get this done. And these trees are only worth three each, but 
every three pieces of wood that we take out of a tree is another plank for building with. Oh, we've had that one. We need the builder's crates. I think we're going to have to do some running and try and get some builder's crates. There's sometimes a few up here. I need to get my bow repaired as well so it's not just for building that we need fibre we need it for repairing tools and weapons and clothes as well I'm watching you down there Mr Level 3 Wolf having a swim yeah you go back over that side you stay on that side I'll stay on this side maybe then again remember I'm a human and humans don't uh, always tell the truth first time but I spy a crate and I spy scrap metal on the other side of the river oh nice a nails crate how many did we get in there 16 nails in one crate awesome absolutely oh a piece of chicken spoiled pieces of chicken spoiled that was not good right um let's go get that piece of metal let's come back because Right now, it's this side of the river we want to search. We want to... I see fibres. That's good. There's one there. There's one there. Now, there's often a crate on this little piece of roadway here. I don't see it, but I do see a piece of copper up there, which we'll go get. Excellent. Let's have the bow out. Oh, there's a bear. And of course there's a bear, because there's five of there, look. And is the bear going back down the hill? He is. Let's run in and get that fiver. Run out again. Just check up on the top of this rock, see if anything's up here. There's a chicken. Gotcha. berries I see fiber don't know if there's any wolves around it there's more fiber up there between those two rocks as well or iron ore potassium no zinc and a crate we'll get the crate first more nails excellent that's 20 nails so far Put it away, put it away, stop it, stop it. Right, um, well that's 20 nails so far today. So that's about halfway towards what I'd like to have as a daily target. Um, obviously if I can get a lot more than that, that's great. But there are some days when I don't get even as much as we've got today. Let alone hitting the daily target. More berries, yum, yum, yum. Um... So, it's not always guaranteed that you're going to get what you're looking for. Oh, 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 three crates. 
There's a chicken there, but I'm going to ignore the chicken for now. Let's get these these crates. Ammo crates. Nice. I like ammo crates. Uh oh, that wolf is awfully close to that. And it's a level 4. We just don't have the weaponry to deal with a level 4. We're going to have to hope he disappears. He's facing the other way. No, he's coming back. That's a medical crate, which is, shall we say, the um, the least rewarding crate, generally. That's iron. We'll have that. Only got three iron from that. Disappointing. Oh, there's a wolf over there sitting between two fibers and there's an ammo crate beyond him what level is that wolf that's a level three we really need to get the shotgun made you know we've got to be able to take these wolves down to get into the crates but the problem is using a shotgun shell on the wolves are we actually robbing ourselves of resources by doing it because shotgun shells are quite rare in the crates and they use a lot of the casings and gunpowder to make. However, we do get the meat off the wolf. And it does give us access to the crates. of those grubs because they don't decay they are edible and in one of my run throughs they sustained me through the winter no he's coming this way go away wolf stop coming towards me every time I see something I want to get he's doing it again look pursuing me up the hill There's carrots there Can we get in and get those carrots before he gets too close? Yep. And at this point I don't care whether I'm actually getting the carrots themselves or getting the seeds because... What counts is the option. We gave one growl. I really would like to knock him down. He is a level 3, and I've taken a level 3 down with the bow before, but I would like to have the bow repaired. I know that the bow condition apparently does not affect the damage it outputs, but it's good practice to keep your bow in a good condition anyway. I mean, we all saw what happened to Burt Reynolds's uh, character in the film Deliverance, when he used a bow that the glass fibre was starting to split. And I know this is a wood bow, not a fibre bow, but... Same principle. You don't want the bow snapping and putting your own arrow through your leg. Just um, let's just have a quick look at something. Put that down there. Put the carrots up there. They come across there. Five out. Let's just make got four bits of cordage made up, um, and we've got enough wood. make some sticks and then once they're made up we can get our bow repaired we'll 
getting quite high up the hill here and that's still still not too late in the day was that scrap in there it was Not as many crates as I would have liked. A lot of them being, well not a lot, but several being blocked by the wolves did not help. And remembering that I prefer not to sprint everywhere. So I tend to cover less ground than some people do. Um, another piece of scrap there. Right, we've got a wolf there, we've got a wolf there. I'm going to try going down through the middle of them. I want to check under those trees. See what's in there. If anything. Uh, there was a rabbit. And he's off like a shot. And I'm sure we saw crates around here. rabbit for the cloth as well as the meat. Uh, seeing things. I thought there was thought there was metal under that tree. I do see fibre though. Just heard another rabbit. Don't see him. What's that down there? No, it's just a f piece of bracken. A fern. Now that autumn's coming in, all the colours are changing, so it gets kind of hard to spot some of the stuff that you spot more instinctively in summer. Um, oh, there's a carrot. I'm going to need to start keeping our eyes open a bit more because sometime soon we should start to see... There's the rabbit running away through there. Bet you there's a wolf over this hill. Sometime soon we should start to see the cotton appearing and it's kind of hard to spot because these daisies tend to mask it because the cotton's got little white uh, spots all over it. Now we need veggies so I'm going to dive in for kelp. It looks like the edge of the lake is clear. Um, just check first. Can we repair our bow yet? Looks like we can. Yeah, bow done. Right, excellent. Um, swap them over there. Swap them over there. Keep the chickens and rabbits together. Uh, how many inventory slots? We've only got two inventory slots. Hmm. Okay. So no getting pearls. We're only after the kelp. We only want the foods. Um. There's not much kelp in here today. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm not seeing much at all. Was that some there? No. There's a piece. Looks like we're going to have to go and jump in the big lake to get some as well. Well, four pieces of kelp is about average for this pond. So, I guess we didn't do too bad. That's the downhill side. Oh, and there's a crate under that tree. Nails, excellent. Nails and feathers even. Even better. And the sun's getting quite low there, look. It's getting a redness to it as it comes through the trees. Ah, there's another crate there. A late in the day burst of crates. So we want to head back to the base. We haven't got enough food. We might have to do a, a spot of fishing before we start cooking. And see what we can spot. Wolf down there. I'm surprised we didn't have anything down here. We usually have something down behind this rock. Oh, there's a bear over there. He's sitting on top of that fibre. And it's almost exactly sunset. Where's that wolf going? Oh, there's another crate there. Let's have that. No nails, but we did get biofuel from it, which is good. We don't have any slots to take that chicken, not unless we harvest the two that we've got. Forty nails. There we are. We've got our daily tally on nails. So what we need to do is go and offload, make some spaces, maybe come back for that chicken before it gets 100% dark. Any ores dotted around? Not seeing any. Right, let's have a look what we've got in here. Right, um... Okay, so we'll get rid of all the ores, get rid of the electronics, the scrap metal, um, get rid of the ammunition. Right, over here. Get rid of the biofuel. Move the seeds across. Carrot seeds, tomato seeds, uh, potato, tomato, uh, carrots for food, um, right, let's butcher that, butcher that. Watch of that. Do we want to keep that kelp or we're going to eat that I think we're going to eat that kelp. In fact, we're going to have to eat it right now. Um, in fact, we may well... If I split half of that, move them into there for the winter... 
eat those because that's the one thing we are going to suffer from in the winter our um, grow beds are not going to be um, producing until late in the winter um, right so what we're going to want let's just have a look at how we're going to do this roof it's not a very big roof it's it's a two by two hmm not going to be able to get our grow beds up there we're going to have to put a basic pitched roof on this section and then extend it forwards and to the side to get the flat roof so if I get a bunch of wooden planks made um, I don't know how many that's 14, 15 that's enough to make three roof pieces got enough nails there to do it and if, if I make another five cor um, cordage to go with uh, now make it six yeah I'll put them down there swap that over put that there put the planks down there let's put those other bits in the chest we don't need to make arrows tonight which is good news and put the fishing grubs there don't need to make fishing kits tonight do need to keep this for scrap metal um, it's not sure that's the right chest for keeping it in yeah we'll uh, we'll do that We've got biofuel in there. Um, fire starters, I should say. We have. Put that in there to fill it up. Let's take the ash out, put it away. Stockpiling for fertilizer. Just waiting for those bits to fasten up. I can't see can't see out there where the wolf and the bear have gone let alone the chicken um, so we may have to just survive on what we've got do want to refill the water thing though um, before I do that let's just yeah let's just have another drink then we can fill both water things together I can see the the wolf down there now if I can get a, f a fish do a quick do a quick fishing job um, let's cast that way that's where we tend to get more salmon oh, we've got a nibble and another one and another one I mean, even a small fish is going to help us out tonight because we're so short on food. Needs to hurry up though before that uh, chicken and rabbit spoils. Come on. Nibbly nibbly. Just take a decent bite out of it. and I think that's a small fish it's not fighting very much
Yeah. Let's try for one more. Yeah, that point over there is where I tend to get most of my salmon. So... And that looks like dawn coming up, so we're going to be ending this episode in a minute. We'll just try to get one more fish, and then we'll get them all cooked up. Whoa, wrong. Hit the wrong button, and broke the line. Okay. Yeah, got my fingers all messed up there. Hit the wrong button. Hello. Hit the wrong button for the strike. Hit the wrong button for the reel in. So I lost a fishing line and a fish. Oh well. That's the way life goes. Right, we need to get the fire lit. And we need to get this chicken and fish cooked. Um, swap that one over. Get those two chickens in there. Bring that fish down. Bring that rabbit down. That's got to go in the the chest. Put the fishing rod away. I think we finished crafting there. Um, let's just keep an eye on them. So while we're crafting, we want to get two curved roofs. And we want to have on slanted roof. Now if we move the fishing rod up here just now, we can get all of those straight onto the hot bar when they're done. Cook that rabbit, cook that fish, swap that water. We need to eat that chicken. Right, that's the three roofs done. There's the fish done, we'll get that eaten. Come on rabbit, cook. Thank you. And we're going to eat that one straight off as well. And then we're going to eat that apple. And then we'll get these roofs on. So... I put number five up there first. Come on. That's wrong. There we go. That's that one. And number six up here. There we go. And number seven on there. Yay! So we've now got our roofs in. Um, and we can think about expanding the house now. Or things like um, getting a workshop in place. What I'm planning on doing is I'm going to expand this way with another curved with a curved piece there, and a square piece here, and another square piece, and then we'll expand this out by two square pieces each. But for now, we are winterproof as long as we get the BCU down and get the wood burning stove in. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the episode there. I can see crates. I'll pick it up again in a second to record the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and as always from me, it's not uh, goodbye, it's just bye for now.